right. Next up, we have safety, Jaheem Joseph. Questions for Jaheem, Greg? So, uh, Jaheem, just start with the interception Saturday. Uh, when did you see it? When did you realize it's coming right to you? Yeah. Go, go, go through that. Um, honestly, uh, it was a three by one set in the coverage we had that we had called. I knew I had um, Ant on the backside helping me if I have any crossing routes. So I was just uh, tracking my guy and then I just seen the ball, the ball right there. So I was like, I got to make the play. And it just came right to me. So uh, it was credit to Ant, you know, my teammates. You know, we always talk about doing our 111. Was that a coverage that you not used much? Was that something he didn't see or he obviously didn't see you? Mm -hmm. uh, um, I mean, we we mix we mix our coverages a lot this past game. Um, uh, one thing going into the week that we talked about is just disguising our looks, making everything look different, make it make it harder for them to uh, see see the coverages post snap. Did you feel like the coverage has improved? I mean, obviously there were issues early, and certainly very good this past week for the most part. Do you, do you feel like you're getting better back there as a group? Definitely. Um, I just think you know we got a we got a lot of new guys. You know, uh, practicing and playing games are two different things. So just every week we just um we, we got more urgency in practice. That's something we emphasize that we don't we don't got we don't have the uh the credibility to just be playing around in practice. You know, we we, we took practice very seriously, um coming out coming uh, out of the pit game. You know, we, we had to take our urgency up and we, we started building trust with each other. You know, we just growing as every week goes by. For the secondary to get an interception, I know Bradley got the first. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just kind of like, yeah, you know, got one. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, some somebody had to start it. You know, Aiden, Aiden dropped two of them. You know, we we was on them today about that. Uh, but just uh, just to get the first one going, um, we just gonna keep working to keep them going. You're one of those new guys. It, it, I mean, t talk about trying to ingrain yourself into a, a new group. I mean, you're a veteran of the college mm -hmm. game, but how hard is it? How much is it? take to develop that chemistry yeah, honestly um dating back when I came back to the spring it was it was a smooth transition for me you know uh all my teammates they brought me in it didn't even feel like I was a new guy honestly they just brought me in I felt like I was here for the past two years uh, just a credit to my teammates you know the coaches and like, the culture we got here are you more comfortable now though that you've got five games under your belt definitely, system definitely um you know like I said practicing games are two different things you know you got to get used to playing with new people um, it's just a, just a constant growth and constant uh, strive for improvement. So what, Iowa State, bring? I don't know if you've gotten too deep into the scouting. Uh, I haven't. I haven't. I watched a little bit of them uh, on the way back on the plane when I was watching Baylor. Um, probably, I I'll probably start watching watch more of them today. And I don't really have an uh, answer for you. Obviously, they're a ranked opponent. You know, undefeated. You know, it's a challenge. Challenge that's going to be here Saturday, and we're going to be excited for it. Stand on the part about getting to know people and getting comfortable with your teammates. I mean, is, you know, we watch the teams and, you know, rosters change so mm -hmm. much now. Oh, explain that process a little Man, bit. Man, um, I think it honestly comes from, like, outside of practice, outside of workouts. You just got to, like, even in the locker room, just, just building a relationship with guys. Um, that's definitely that some, a part of me, me personally, that I want to grow at. Cause I'm I'm naturally I'm a, I'm a laid back person, quiet person. So when I came here, I challenged myself like I got to start being more open, start talking to people, just just building better relationships. Cause the closer you are as a team, the better you perform. Speak up, I guess. Yeah, definitely. On the uh, field. Definitely. That's that that's another thing. You know, for me, I feel like once I build a relationship with guys, that's how we know what buttons to click, know what what buttons to push to push them. So um yeah, it definitely it comes with it comes with confidence and growth. How tough was that for you to? Become a more vocal person. Become you know more, less laid back, a little bit more kind of outgoing. Um, it it took it took a little bit of time, honestly. Um, to the spring ball, that was that was, I just wanted to get to know everybody, just understand who who people are. But into camp, that was one thing I focused on, just being more vocal, just talking to more guys, because I, I I built that relationship with more people. Is there any confusion uh, when you go from one system to the other? That sometimes you do techniques you were taught in the other system that are different than the way they teach you yeah. here. Walk me through that a little bit. Man, honestly, it was spring ball was probably the hardest one for me, honestly, because, you know, I was in the same system for four years, so it's kind of like kind of like natural natural body movement to do the past things. But, um, man, Shadon did a great – he does a great job week in, week out, just being on top of everybody about their technique, about the fundamentals, about uh, just doing what we're taught to do. So I just credit to him for always uh, holding me accountable to everything. For the secondary as a group, were you guys – 
aware and hearing kind of what has been said during the hiccups earlier this season and with that more motivation and how do you feel now? I mean, people say we don't look into it, but me personally, like I see it all. Like I, I take it as a grain of salt, honestly, because you know, me me being a fan myself of like the Dolphins, you know, I'll talk a little crazy about the Dolphins sometimes too, but you know, <laughs> It's just like Coach Leslie said, you know, Coach Brown always told us, man, it's all about the people in this building. You know, we're not worried about the outside noise. We just got to attack every day, every opportunity we get, and just prepare for, prepare to go 1-0 and every week. Sounds kind of simple, but can it be a little complex, too? I mean, you've got to make sure you get back to your spot, know where you're dropping. You're, you know, kind of on your own, maybe yeah. doing something to hide things. Is that a Definitely. little bit of a concern? Um, that's uh, one thing our coaches always tell us, like, don't let your disguise uh, affect you from doing your job. So it's kind of like you got to put a little bit of work into it, but you got to understand the, the, the play call and just get to your work. When you guys are having a game like you all had on Saturday, where the offense is putting up points, defense is making stops, can you all see each other feeding off, like, the other side of the ball? Like, do you all as defensive players feed off the offense and vice versa? Definitely. Um, it's definitely, like, especially when offense came out early, Started putting up points early. We on the def- defensive side, we like, man, we just gotta get the ball back to the offense. You know, they're rolling right now. We just gotta keep doing our job, keep doing what we're doing, keep the energy up, and just get get it to them. And you see what they do. You aware you only defended 25 plays last week? Nah, that's a that's a low number. I mean, yeah. that's it's a lot easier to play defense. You only get to defend 45 of them, right? Definitely, man. It's a credit to all 11 guys that's out there, everybody involved. You know, we probably had one of our best weeks of practice. Uh, going into that game last week, you know, it's just it started in practice. We always we gotta take every opportunity we get and go one and zero. It don't matter if it's a individual rep, a group rep. You know, it doesn't matter. Every rep is important. What was so special about practice last week that made it so good for you guys? Man, we just we got a standard. You know, like I said after the pit game, you know, we met as a group. And it was like what we doing in practice is just not good enough. And knowing the potential of our team and showing the spurts, we got in practice. We gotta be consistent. I always keep that high standard, no matter what it is. I know it's only Monday, but do you know anything about the Iowa State's offense this year, about Rocco and what he's doing at QB and kind of his ascension and what to expect out of Honestly, that? Honestly, um, I haven't really got gotten deep into it. I just know they're ranked point. They're undefeated. You know, it's a, we play them at night, the big, big time game. Fox, you know, last time it was on Fox, it wasn't the performance we wanted to show. So um, it's just a new challenge, a new week, and we got to we gotta prepare. First night game for you here, but what is it about night games that gets players jacked up? It's different. Um, It kind of reminds me, you know, high school for real. You know, Friday night lights, everything is different. At night, you know, the the intensity just goes up. You know, sometimes night games, it's it's a longer, it's a longer wait. It's more anticipated, like you're just waiting to play. You know, but night games is always different. I love night games. Seems like the, the the guys are faster too. Whatever yeah. reason, everybody plays faster. The game's faster. Does you, you feel that way as a player? Yeah, I've, uh, honestly, the the it's just I feel like it's just more energy, more intensity, because you know, it's just more build up. You know, you get a twelve o'clock click, you just wake up and play. Right. But you know, you play at eight, it's you got that build up. You watching other games, just 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 getting mentally prepared and just want to kick off. It's just time to work. Thoughts on the uh, the Cole Rush uniform, and, and does that add any Tough. extra juice for you? They're so hard. No, I mean I'm a person. I like black, and so all black is just a different, different type of energy, different type of step to you. How do you, how do you spend the day when it's a eight o'clock game? Me, uh, I'll probably wake up. Honestly, you wake up. Don't even try to look at any football yet. Just, just um, try to just get emotionally ready for the game. And um, as the, as the day goes by, you know, I, I start going over my reminders, my tips. Start watching a little more film. Take a peek at a couple of other games, you know, in between the breaks and meetings, and just um just just start mentally preparing for for the game later on. Backtrack for a second. You said you guys met as a defense after the pit game, just like what before practice, after practice. Yeah, it was um it was before it was after after uh, I think a Monday practice. You know we. You know, pick it was a it was a it was a hard loss to take. Honestly, probably one of the worst losses I took in my life. You know, being up by ten with like five minutes left. So like we just we we knew we weren't playing up to our standard. So we had to come together. You know, no coaches, just players, and like we had to talk to each other. Like if we if we want to do what we want to do and go where we want to go, we gotta we gotta pick up the intensity and the practice. You mentioned just familiarity and comfort back there in the back end, right? Um, how does that affect the football? Like, what are you doing better, differently in the secondary because you're more familiar, more confident? It's just it's just more trust. Like you just know, you know, uh, being close to each other, that comes with communication. 
you know, when you build trust with each other, you understand, like, I, I know for a fact I can depend on him. He's going to be in the spot where he needs to be. So now when, when they run this certain route or they run this certain concept, I know he's going to be doing his job. So I don't got to too much try to o overcompensate and try to do, do something that's not, not part of my job. Meeting like the one after the big game. How does that? How does that come about? The two guys talking, or man, we just um uh, we just came together. You know, we uh texting our group chat like we gotta meet together and we just gotta, cause you know we was on it was we was one and two and the team that we have that that just wasn't up to our standard. We wasn't playing to our standard either, and we weren't. We didn't want to accept accept what we was putting on tape. You know, so we had to come together and just talk to each other. Talk to each other and just you know, remind ourselves of our goals and our standard. Man, it was a lot of guys, um, a lot of veteran guys. Uh, TB, you know, Tyron Bradley, Tr Josiah Trotter, uh, Aubrey Burks. Like er everybody, everybody had their time to speak. It wasn't like just a one person got one person thing because we was, we got a lot of leaders on our defense. Somebody said stand out in your mind. And we gotta treat every day like it's a game. It's just serious. Or was there maybe a guy got up there that like blew Tarski and said, you know, uh, was it one of those deals or was it a serious nah. deal? I, I, <laughs> I just feel like we all we all we all had a good idea of, of what what we needed to talk about. Um, it wasn't like no nothing like nobody screaming or anything. Like we all knew knew what we had to do. And we just take accountability. Were the people just like just just straight up saying what needed to be said, yeah. not beating around the bush? Yeah, definitely. I honestly, um, the relationship we build with each other, like it's just we we always gonna be real with each other, you know, be blunt, cause it's it's this or that. At the end of the day, like we gonna win or we gonna lose. Did you say anything in that meeting? Because we talked earlier about you now being more of a vocal leader, but it's not natural for you. Did you speak up there? Um, not necessarily. Honestly, I just wanted, cause I I I honestly knew what the meeting was gonna be about, and I knew what what needed to be said. And like I said, we got a bunch of great leaders, and they just took it from there. Sometimes those meetings can be, you know, uh, contrived or not genuine. Obviously, this one you guys took it to heart, right? Yes, sir. Definitely, cause um, at the end of the day, you know, the coaches the coaches can only do so much. We the guys out there, so we gotta execute. We gotta make the plays. Observation, it seems like corner safeties, you guys are just playing the ball better in the air when you see it now. Um, is that right? And then where does that come from if that is right? And confidence. Uh, you know, Coach Leslie always told us, like, we ain't got nothing to worry about. Just go out there and play fast. You know, if we all we all good enough players to be on the stage, you know, so we just got to play with confidence and play fast.